Okay, this is the breadboard for uh, my blinkers that I'm going to put on the bicycle. I've transferred the uh, breadboard onto a, uh, a circuit board now. It's all soldered in there and I've got it hooked up to some clips just testing it so it's blinking now. Now the next step will be to hook this up to this double pole, double throw switch. This side, when you switch it either way, will send power to the device, and then the other side will route that blinking signal to either the left or the right blinker. Well, as I was thinking about what sort of lenses I could use for my blinkers, I went on a walk and I found this. This is like a center console that upper console. These are uh, like the reading lights of a car or something. The center console somebody had thrown out and I looked at these and I thought, hey, those look like blinkers. So I'll have uh, maybe some fronts and backs with that. And then as far as what sort of console on the bike, this was in there, some sort of upper storage compartment or something. You pushed it and came down. So what I did was I took some of the metal pieces that were on it and uh, it's going to it's going to go right here like this um, and look something like that and those uh, zip ties are going to hold it down so there you go just a serendipitous find right when I was looking for it okay and looking at this design I was thinking about it I was wondering where I would want to uh, how I'd want to power it up I thought about having an external battery for it or something that you know that came down below it and mounted on the bike or something and went up to it or something but then uh, I got to looking at this little space in here and thought about maybe putting some batteries in there and uh, I didn't know what kind of battery holder or whatever I could use to stick some double A's in there or whatever but I had a battery pack a rechargeable battery pack. This one was twice as long actually when it started out. It was it was um, twice this long and uh, so I cut off uh, six of the batteries here and reconfigured them into this here. Um, I just cut the little tabs that, that connect them and and uh, I didn't take pull the tabs off. I left them on there so there'd be something to solder to and so I soldered these three in line and then uh, put one on the end and turned around the corner and so then I've got two leads off of it and then what will happen then eventually is uh, kind of got low lighting is this will slide up in in this compartment up in here okay well here it is after it's all been put together you can see where I put my battery down in there. I don't know exactly how I'm going to hold it in there for sure, but it's stuck in there pretty good. And after you get all the wiring and stuff in there, it, it fills up that compartment pretty quickly. And let's see. So here's what it'll look like on the front then. Here's when you're making a left hand turn or a right hand turn. You go that way and middle's off and the left hand turn like that and then the little blinker light there on the dash will tell me that uh, my blinker's on so I don't drive around with the blinker stuck on. Okay so now I've got it mounted on the bike it looks pretty clean. Maybe I can get some of those wires tucked up underneath there and then this will be what it's like on the on the actual handlebars so you're riding along and you'll make a right hand turn left hand turn it's not too much of a stretch for my thumb to get over there and get to the switch so that's the main thing all right good well I ran into a problem with this uh, I had it all mounted in the dash like that and everything and this is my little dashboard blinking light well it must have had less resistance than these because when I hooked up these which run in parallel with this one these wouldn't blink at all 
So I guess this one had less resistance and was just stealing all the energy away from this light, so to speak. So I had to put in a uh, little variable resistor down here on this light so I could dial in uh, this red one's brightness and, and give more resistance so that this could actually blink. So now I think I can mount it all back in my dash again and work on it from there. Okay, well I got it back together and it looks like that the indicator light works in both directions. I mean this whole thing might be kind of silly because really if I wanted to know if my blinkers were on I could just look down and see the switch but I don't know maybe I just wanted a blinking light on the dashboard maybe at night it might be good okay so the next step was I was trying to think of what kind of housing that I could have to put this lighting unit in and mount this lens on top of it and so I got to looking around and I thought I would spice it up a little bit, but what I mean by that is I was looking at one of these caps and I thought that these looked like they would hold this pretty well and mount onto there, onto, onto this lens. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. What I did was, um, this lens here, is I had to drill a hole in the center there and I countersunk it. And so, I could put a screw in there. I thought another th neat thing about this was that this will close up. And the reason I countersunk it, because this closes down real tight and close. Uh, what I thought was neat about that is it kind of finishes it off. It hides the screw. So when I get it all put together, uh, you won't see that back screw. Let's see how that goes. So I drilled a hole through the circuit board and the reflector unit and it goes right over the screw so it goes down in there like that and then this piece goes on here like that okay so there's the screw on and there's the back one you close this up and snap it and uh, and just put the lens on that. That snaps on there, and that nut is actually behind the lens, this outer uh, lens cap or clear glass lens. So now I'll have to find something, some sort of amber tint or something to put in there. I need some sort of filter. I'll have to work on that somehow and figure out some way to mount this on. Uh, uh, outriggers for uh, on the bike for to stick out on each side. Well, I decided to use this little hollow tube that uh, I found on the curb. That hollow tube was the stand for this light. Uh, it's one thing about living in the city; people leave the darndest things out. Uh, not only did I get a light, but I got a uh, solar. Uh, charger for it and there's uh, actually a, um, a light sensing resistor right there in the middle and uh, this runs off of uh, one double a battery well I was wondering exactly how I was going to attach this uh, on here and then I thought about this cork and what I think I'll do is I think I'll sc screw this cork onto here and then it fits in this tube perfectly so it will be just held in there with friction but i'm gonna have to cut this cork in two it's the only one i've got so it'll only be sticking in there halfway but i think that'll be enough another thing is like why why did i save this cork i have no idea i just thought it was kind of some interesting rubber that i could use somehow well i've been I've, this will be the second time i've used it as you can see i've cut a little chunk off of it already And here's where it's at. It's in, uh, it's inside the handle of the, the handlebars, and this spring with uh, this little rearview mirror is running through it right there. 
Well, I got that uh, cork cut in two and drilled out and and uh, mounted onto the side of this and I had some brass tubing that I drilled out a hole to let the wire go through. Well, since this uh, little clamp is white that I have, I'm going to use some uh, shrink tubing to uh, cover it with and that will give a little bit more grip on the uh, bar that goes across uh, to hold the blinker lights. I'm really kind of getting into this shrink tubing stuff. It's one of my favorite things right now. Well, and here it is, the final product. The lights are not as bright as I wanted them to be. But I kind of suspected that. There's my dash light. And that's the right hand turn. Yeah, this is kind of floppy a little bit, but I think I'm going to keep it that way. It's sturdy enough to ride, and that way if I hit something, it won't just break off and shatter. Yeah, and seeing it now, I could just look down and see the blinkers blinking if I wanted to, but I just didn't know exactly where I was going to mount them and stuff, you know. Anyway, we want our gadgets and gizmos to look at. So, uh, I only spent about 34 cents on this. I had all the parts. Um, I spent 17 cents a piece on these screws that, uh, that hold the lenses on. Uh, it's kind of the fun thing about these DIY projects is you're just kind of looking around the house doing a treasure hunt and looking at things in a different way.